What is up everyone, today we are looking at an SMG I have not covered just yet, the Bison. The Bison is a weird weapon in my opinion, because it doesn't feel as snappy as an MP5 or an MP7 for example, but it feels more like an AUG kind of weapon. So if you like playing with an AUG, the Bison might also be something you would enjoy. I did a stream a few days ago and someone in the chat suggested this build, so I thought, why not, let's review this bad boy and check if it's any good or not. I do think this is the best Bison build in my opinion, so if you're interested in seeing what attachment I am using, stick around for a few minutes. But before we go into the class setup, if you enjoy these class setup videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel, it will mean a lot to me. And now, on to the Bison. The first attachment I am using is the Monolithic Suppressor, increasing the damage range and adding some sound suppression as well. As always, the best attachment on any weapon in the game. Next up is the 8.7 Steel Barrel to increase the damage range a bit more, helping you with the longer range fights, giving you extra bullet velocity and some extra recoil control. The best barrel attachment in Warzone if you want to run the Bison as a primary weapon. Up next is the Tech Laser, one of my favorite attachments in the last few days. The increase in overall mobility and ADS speed does make the weapon feel way snappier, and the only downside is you need to be a little sneaky with the laser or else enemies will notice. But with the tag laser, that is not actually a problem. Next up is the Corvus Skeleton Stock to increase the aim walking movement speed and ADS speed. This will again give you more mobility and snappiness with the Bison. And finally, the rubberized grip tape to increase the overall recoil control of the weapon. In longer range fights, the Bison does kick a bit, so the extra recoil control is very welcome. As you probably noticed, we will not be using a sight and an ammunition attachment. The Bison's iron sight is as clean as can be, so I would not suggest wasting an attachment on a sight. And the Bison has 64 bullets in the Mac without using an attachment, so it will not be necessary in my opinion to waste an attachment slot on the ammunition. So now that we know what the class setup is, let's talk about a few things. First, the performance of the gun. I actually did enjoy using it. It feels snappy and has a decent range with its build. The iron sight is beautiful and the 64 bullets in the mag is a nice addition to the base weapon. The only problem I had is fighting people very close or too far away. In very close quarter engagement, it does perform well, just a little worse than for example the MP5 or the MP7. And a little further away, it gets outperformed by almost every AR in the game. But in the close to medium range fights, it performs excellently. Hitting chests and headshots is doable with the iron sight and the recoil control. My final verdict of the Bison for Warzone is simple. Do you want to use a fun gun that feels different than a lot of other weapons you've used? And do you still want to feel like you have something with some power in your hand? The Bison is a great choice. It will not be the strongest or the best option in my opinion, but it is definitely not the worst. So try this Bison class setup and let me know in the comments if you like this build or not. And as always, if you enjoyed this class setup video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video.